I'm Atubo George and I'm so blessed to be bringing God's truth to you today. Now, are you ready for your daily bread? Are you really, really ready? Think about it. Am I ready? Am I ready? Praise God. Yeah, I'm ready. Are you? Praise God. So, so let's go. Say this with me. Say, Father, I demand my daily bread today and I receive it now. In Jesus' name, amen. Man, praise God. He's doing a lot behind the scene for you. And I pray that your eyes will be open to see and you will see the result of God's work in your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus. And Father, we honor you today. Thank you for your great blessing upon our lives. Thank you for your truth that has been revealed by your spirit to us. And I declare right now, every body is lifted, every yoke is destroyed. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Woo! Now, we, we, we are talking about living carefree. Living carefree. How do you live carefree? Number one, humility. Humility. Now, humility is not that pious-looking fellow who's just all, you know, Mm. Hey, humility, a humble person rather, is one who has learned how to cast all his care over to the Lord. Now let me read this from the Amplified Translation to you. 1 Peter chapter 5 and verse 6 and 7. He says, therefore, humble yourselves, demote, lower yourselves in your own estimation and under the mighty hand of God that he may, he in due time, that in due time, he may exalt you. And then he says, casting the whole of your care, all your anxieties, all your worries all your concerns, your anxieties, your worries, your concerns, once and for all on him. Why? For he cares for you affectionately and cares about you watchfully. Hallelujah. He cares for you affectionately. He's always thinking of you. Every time he doesn't sleep, I know. But every time he wakes up, you are the one on his mind. Guess what he's thinking? He's not thinking what sin you're going to commit today so that he'll catch you and punish you. No, he's thinking of how to bless you, how to use you for his glory. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Listen. He said, and that's what we're dwelling on, the reason you are still not living carefree, the reason you are so compounded with cares and worries is because you are proud. And until you dis dis decide to cast every care, every worry, every anxiety, every concern, over to the Lord. Now, you know, you might be trusting God for something. And then the Lord says, cast the care of me. What are the cares? If I don't take this action now, this thing is going to go bad. That's a care. That's a concern. If I don't deal with this now, I may not be able to meet up. That's a concern. So what does it do? It prevents you from doing the will of God. Now, I'll give you an example. Sometimes 
we get into some financial mess. Like, you don't even know what to do. The pressure is so much, the income is low, and the, the, the needs are so high. And, and you ask people, what's going on in your finances? Say, fine, it's fine. Have you been tithing? Nah. Why? Man, the pressure is too much. I don't have so... In fact, my money is not even enough. When I, when I now remove the tithes, uh, uh, no, God will understand. You know, if I people talk like God will understand. Now, you know what you're doing to yourself? Number one, you are proud and you are displaying your pride. That you are taking care of yourself. So now he says, humble yourself. Therefore, under the mighty hand of God. So how do I humble myself when it comes to my finances? I receive my pay. And the first thing that comes to my heart is how to tithe. Because now Moses said, thou shalt remember the Lord your God. So now I remember the Lord. I say, Lord, you blessed me. Thank you. I just received some money. And I want to honor you by bringing my tithes. So the first thing that comes in, hmm, calculate that 10%. How much is it? <laughs> now what is left? Do you know, huh, brother, you better. And then you go, hmm, Lord, I know you will understand. This, this one time, or this one, let me just quickly pay for this thing I'm supposed to pay. Let me pay for it. You know what you're doing? You, you have refused to humble yourself. So pride is at work in you. You've done the calculation with your head and you've come to that conclusion that this money will not be enough. So if it's not going to be enough, how then will I now take out tight from it again? See, you know, sometimes I say, Pastor, it's difficult. It's, it's, it's just difficult. It's just difficult. Hey! Now, he says, humble yourself. Okay, so, Lord, I bring myself under your word. Your word commands us to tithe. But if I tithe, I will not be able to meet up that back. That's the care. I cast it over to Lord. I will not be able to meet up. Lord, you can meet up that need. For me. and, but, 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 but then, if I now tithe, I, he will take care of that. And um, what about the Lord will handle that? And then, then, then when I tell people that I couldn't pay because the Lord will take care of that. Okay. But I did. Casting all your cares, all your concerns, all your anxiety, casting it over. Don't even say, Lord, you know what? When I receive next salary, I'll double the tight. I'll pay this month on and last month on and this month so I'll join but this time around Lord no please please just let me uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. you remember Elijah he went to that widow of Zarephath as the Lord commanded him to and he saw this woman gathering sticks and he said madam can you get me some water he said all right no problem she turned to go get the water. I says, why are you at it, madam? Make me a muscle of bread. Ah, sir, the truth is we don't have anything. The only piece remaining is the piece I'm gathering these sticks for. So I'll go now, make it for me and my son, and then we'll eat. And after that, there's nothing more. Most likely we die. And guess what the prophet said? He said, Madam, relax, relax. Go and do as you have said, but make that cake for me first. And then take care of your house. Now, someone will look at that as so insensitive. The poor woman just told you, prophet of God, that's coming from where birds were feeding you. Why can't you tell God to send food now and allow beds to bring food for you so that all of us will eat? You, now come to this woman who this is just her own. Now you know what Elijah was doing to that woman? Woman, cast your cares over to the Lord 
and humble yourself. Because God said to Elijah, I have commanded a widow there to feed you. All right. So by the time Elijah got there, he was meeting the woman that has already received the word of the Lord. But she still had cares in her heart. If God is saying I should feed a prophet, no problem, but she he will supply. And now the prophet shows up, no supply had come yet. So he said, sir, this is the challenge. And he said, go and do for me first. I should do for him first. This man is big. Oh. That means he will eat all the bean cake or whatever it is. He will finish it. What if you finish it? Well, God is going to take care of us. Oh, okay. So, how? And, and, and the Bible said the woman obeyed the Lord and his prophets. And, and she baked it and brought it to him. He ate. And the Bible says she and her household ate for many days. Thank you, Lord Jesus. What's that? Cast your care upon the Lord, for he cares for you. Now, you see, see how this works. God, who was feeding this prophet miraculously, heard her own cry, and he was thinking of, how do I meet this woman's need? If I send a bed to her house, it's going to be a challenge. Because the news will go everywhere. They will think she's a witch. Think about it. People, you're, think about your neighbors. Just wake up one morning and they just see one bed bringing baskets and just drops, lowers itself in your compound. And, and they, they see this basket with this bed flying and then it enters your compound and then it drops something and then they see the bed flying without the basket. You know, I felt like, ah, this bed I brought dirt and things to this person's house. And like, I wonder what it is. Maybe you just carry this thing from somewhere now. No, who knows what is inside? The following morning again, they see the same bed come and drop something. And then the next day, and then the next day. Sorry. Sorry, I, I, you know, before they even ask, they'll try to see how they can climb something and peep and see, what is this? Something is going here. What is it? And then they now realize it's food. Trust me. Trust. Not everybody say, wow, you're so special. You mean bed is big. They will call you all sort of names first. So the Lord saw that and didn't want all that drama. In response to her prayer, he sends the prophet to her house. But she's got to show that she was ready to walk by faith and believe the Lord who had spoken to her. He had commanded her, you will feed the prophet. Yes, Lord. In her mind, when you provide. <laughs> and now the prophet shows up, no provision yet. Things are as bad as they are. And then now he says, bring for me first. See, he, she would have said, if you're a man of God, let God bring the supply first. But she obeyed. You know what that is? Humility. She cast that care. So that if this man eats this thing, now what's my son going to eat? That's a care. I cast it over to the Lord. And, 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 and then if, if, if you finish eating it, what happens next? Care. I cast it over to the Lord. Why am I casting it over to the Lord? He is thinking, the Lord is thinking about what my son is going to eat. The Lord is thinking about what I'm going to eat, not just today, but tomorrow and throughout all the days of our lives. He's thinking about what we're going to eat. So I cast the care that my little mind cannot fathom. Here you are thinking what that salary is going to do for you. And here is God. He has already made provision for that salary, for that, for that bill to be paid. He's made provision already, but he's waiting to see how you will humble yourself and believe that he indeed cares for you. He's looking out for that. And he tells you, bring the tithes. No. Okay, Lord, let me give half. No. Bring ye all the time. Praise God. And then you say, well, Lord, it's you that will take care of me. Yes! And then you obey him and you bring that tithe. 
and let him direct you on where to give that tithe to and you obey him and you give it. Whoa, I did it. And guess what? Suddenly the doors open. And all the cares you were having in your heart, you look back and where are those cares? Gone! Praise God! They're all gone! And like, whoa. You know, sometimes this thing happens in our life, but you know the challenge? We have not learned to trust in it. That's why this word is coming to you. Praise God. Our time is up today. Father, we honor you. We are so blessed for your teachings. Thank you. And I declare today, increase is coming to your life. In many ways. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.